Hey Mike here from Karen's Cookies. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this airbrush. Uh, this happens to be the Pegasus airbrush. Um, it's one that we sell. We've sold uh, two, three different models of it. These guns, they, they're a little bit different from model to model, but by and large, a lot of their features are very similar. So um, even if something isn't exactly the same on your model, it might be you know similar enough that this is still relevant. So I, I want to talk to you about the trigger because um, we get a few questions about that and secondly I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the needle and doing some maintenance on that uh, so first about this needle uh, you know people say don't ever take this cap off don't touch the needle don't look at it it's true that this needle is fragile and if it gets bent uh, for example now that it is exposed if I were to drop it on a hard surface that would probably ruin it um, so yes be very careful with this needle but I, I wouldn't be so afraid of it that you shouldn't, you know, take a look at it when you need to. Um, basically, the way this works is this is a spring-loaded trigger, so it'll bounce back when you let go. And what that does is it moves this needle in to the unit, and when it does, that basically allows the air to, to flow through along with the color, and that's what gives you the airbrush effect. So, uh, first problem that we run into now and then is people will say this trigger is very loose or sometimes too tight. So let me open this up and I'm just screwing this back part off to show you how that works. Um, I have two things I can adjust here. One of them adjusts the length um, between the trigger and the back where the spring is. So it's essentially making that spring tighter or looser depending on your preference. And this holds the needle. I'll show you that in a minute. But first, let me uh, show you what this looks like when you unscrew it completely. So basically this is releasing the spring. It'll run into this needle adjustment scene, uh, thing so you can loosen that a little bit. If, if you loosen it completely, you'll see that spring. And of course, at this point, um, this just has no give to it at all. It, it won't bounce back like it should. So if your spring is too loose, like this is entirely too loose. That could mean this just needs to be adjusted so that spring is tighter. So you can adjust that. Um, you know, don't don't keep turning it till it's super tight. You could damage it. But you know, give it a few good turns until you get some really good spring back action there. So that's about how it should be. And you know, it's a matter of preference too. Um, if this is con causing a little bit of strain on your finger, if you're doing, you know, long sessions of spraying, you may want to loosen it a little bit. So that's where that is right there. And while I was showing you that, I dropped that. Let me pick it up real quick. Okay, so this piece here is what holds the needle in. So, um, since this is really loose, this needle will be loose. And you can take this needle out completely. So I pointed out the tip of the needle here, and this holds the needle. So of course, as you take this out, it's going to run the length of the unit. It's a very long needle. Uh, again, this, you know, you don't want to bend this or anything, but, you know, don't be afraid to take it out and very carefully clean it. Um, and when this gets gummed up, you know, there, there's ways that you can soak the airbrush and, and run some water through it. Sometimes color is just left in there so long that this is just too gummed up. And you just kind of have to pull it out and clean it off a little bit. That's okay. Just be very careful with it. So when you put it back in, just do so very carefully so that you don't bend that tip. Okay. And with this loose, you want to put it in all the way. You know, don't shove it too tight or anything, but you just push it in until it stops. Okay? And, again, this has to be tight around that needle because as this pulls back, you see as I'm pulling that back, it's not moving the needle here. So it's not pulling the needle back. So this is too loose. And that's something that, you know, people will run into. They'll say that I have my airbrush gun uh, air is flowing through it, the compressor turns on, but when I pull this trigger back, no color comes through. And that's often the case um, where this needle 
just needs to be tightened right here. So again, don't cinch it so tight that you damage it, but just give it a good tug there until it's clasping onto that needle well. And now look as I pull this trigger back, the needle, uh, or the, yeah, as I pull the trigger back, the needle comes with it, as it should. Um, let me pull this off so you can see the, the uh, tip of the needle is pulling into the unit there. See how it, it's hard to see because it's so small, but you can see it coming in. Again, if this is loose, that tip is not coming in. So no color is going to come out. So go ahead and tighten it. And we're back in business. So once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but feel free to open these components up and do some maintenance, make sure that things are clean, um, but just be super careful so nothing gets bent. So again, if that needle is not pulling back, and it might be hard to see on the camera, but you can actually look into that and visually see without removing this protective tip uh, that the needle isn't pulling back. Like I said, you may not be able to see it in this video, but you can see it visually with your unit. Um, simply unscrew this back cover. Okay, You'll want to tighten this for the needle and this to adjust um, the trigger. Okay, and all you're doing is reducing the length of that spring so it's tighter when it's screwed in and looser when it's screwed out. So, you know, as I mentioned, if that's causing a little bit of strain, loosen that up a bit and this loosens. Okay, so there's some uh, little fine tuning you could do to your unit um, and some troubleshooting if you're a little bit clogged up, if your needles clogged up there you can clean it off if it's not pulling back you can tighten that back there like I showed you and and hopefully that helps a few of you out so um, let us know if you have any questions but hopefully that'll answer a few that we've received recently all right see ya